Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, with another Frugal Friday tip. And this has to do, again, with the lovely wax melts that we all seem to have and enjoy in our homes. So this is my wax melt collection. I had just tidied it up the other day, and it occurred to me that these little beauties not only make our home smell fragrant, and not only can we use them for collage to glue down stuff after the smell is gone from our waxes so we don't have to throw them away, but we can actually use the empty containers for travel watercolor palette. So first, let's look at see the different the different shapes these come in. They can come with um, with like ten deeper wells. They could come with four really shallow wells. Um, some have just a foil on top, but others, most of them actually, have a nice um, a nice like either clamshell or removable cap that comes right back that can be pressed right back on like that, very easy to put them on and off. So what I did when I was adding some new smelly wax to my wax melter, since I had used up my wax, it wasn't smelling anymore, and I used it for some crafts, um, I took the container, I used gently, very gently, used my heat tool to loosen up the sticker on the top, and I don't know if you can see, there's very, it was just a little bit of faint, like a transfer of writing from the back of the sticker. Um, then I just wiped it down with Gamzol and then wiped it down with alcohol to get rid of any stickiness. I'll probably just stick a piece of paper there. Once I figure out what colors I want to put in this little this little palette, because I think it would be a great watercolor palette, or it could be a disposable palette for like oils or acrylics. Um, like if you want to take a take some of your oil paints out to paint on location, but you don't want to bring the tubes and the palette and everything, you could you could use this and have a disposable palette. But I think this is a great idea for if you want to share paints with a friend. Like maybe you got some new watercolors and you've got a friend that paints and you want to square some out, that way you don't have to spend money on a palette. Um, they can try out the colors, see if they like them before they buy tubes up for themselves. Or if you're getting ready to, you're thinking about adding some color into your main palette, you could put them in just a little bit in these containers for a bit, try them out, see if they're worthy for your main palette before you put them in. But anyway, I thought it was a really nice little travel palette. So if I do put some colors in here, like maybe I get some more colors to review, like a new set to review or something, then I would make a swatch and I would paste it to the top, to the outside of the um, of the cover, and the back of the swatch would be white, so I could have it down there for mixing, and then I would have that if I wanted to look at the colors. So anyway, little Frugal Friday tip, save your wax melt containers when you're done with them, uh, wash them out, wipe them out with a little alcohol to take away any of the wax, and then you can use them for a lovely little travel palette or extra storage for your watercolors. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Until next time, happy crafting.